The Northrop YF-23, or Northrop McDonnell Douglas YF-23, is an American single-seat twin-engine fighter aircraft built for the United States Air Force USAF. The design was a finalist in the USAF's Advanced Tactical Fighter ATF competition, beating out the Lockheed YF-22 for the manufacturing contract. Two YF-23 prototypes were produced with the nicknames Black Widow VUI and Ghost Grey. In the 1980s, the USAF began seeking for a successor for its fighter aircraft, notably to challenge the Soviet Union's sophisticated Su-27 and MiG-29 aircraft. Several prospective firms submitted designs. The USAF picked proposals from Northrop and Lockheed. Northrop is cooperating with McDonnell Douglas to build the YF-23, while Lockheed, Boeing, and General Dynamics are developing the YF-22. The YF-23 has the benefit of being more stealthy and quicker, but less agile than the competitors. After a four-year research and review procedure, the YF-22 was proclaimed successful in 1991 and commenced production as the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. The U.S. Navy was interested in utilizing a production version of the ATF as a foundation for its replacement to the F-14, but these plans were eventually abandoned. In 2009, two YF-23 prototypes were on exhibit at the museum. The YF-23A competed in the late 1980s slash early 1990s against the YF-22A in the Advanced Tactical Fighter ATF program. During the late 1970s, a new generation of Soviet fighters and surface-to-air missiles SAMs, motivated the U.S. Air Force to seek a successor for the F-15 Eagle Air Dominance Fighter. In 1986, the USAF granted demonstration contracts to two rival industry teams, Lockheed Boeing General Dynamics, YF-22A, Viz Northrop McDonnell Douglas, YF-23A. The Northrop YF-23A, unofficially termed Black Widow U, stresses stealth features. To save weight and increase stealth, Northrop chose not to utilize thrust vectoring for aerodynamic control as used on the Lockheed YF-22A. Northrop constructed two YF-23 A prototypes. In 1991, following rigorous flight testing, the USAF declared that the Lockheed YF-22A had won the airframe competition. Northrop abandoned the ATF program, and the YF-23A on exhibit arrived to the museum in 2000. <laughs>